Wow, look at this. What a nice size audience we have today. <laughs> That's a good five trip for most of you. You know, it's kind of hot outside, kind of muggy. You know, you guys are all good with all your stuff you're eating. Well, I want to thank all of you for coming to Christian's Cookie Show. <laughs> On this day of the show, we cook many different types of cookies, starting with your red velvet extravaganza, all the way to your basic, you know, ordinary sugar cookie. But today is not that kind of day. It's a chocolate day. <laughs> it's a chocolate chip cookie kind of day. So are you guys ready to get your chocolate chip cookie on? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, anyone can cook chocolate chip cookies. This is three easy steps. You need your materials ingredients, you need to know how to combine your ingredients, and you need to know how to bake and serve your cookies. According to Food History, January 19, 2013, there's about seven billion cookies eaten a year. Now that's a lot of chocolate chip cookies. So today, I will be showing you the materials and ingredients you will need, how to combine the ingredients, and lastly, how to bake and serve your chocolate chip cookies. So now since I give you a little overview of what I'm going to be doing today, I will introduce you to the materials and ingredients. So first, we're going to need a large bowl. Any bowl will do, but it has to be large. All right. Now we're going to need a small bowl, like this. We're going to need a large tablespoon. So, you know, if you're not sure if it's large, get one of your small ones, so kind of look at it, the bigger one. <laughs> we need you a measuring cup. We need a whisk. You gotta, you gotta whisk something, right? You need, whisk. you need your smaller spoons. I call them small spoons, measuring spoons, small spoons, your choice. Then we need your Pam, non stick Pam, or just non cooking stick spray. <laughs> <laughs> then, we're going to need a plate for serving. Then, last but not least, your cookie tray. You need to, you need to have this for cooking cookies. <laughs> Alright, so I just introduced you to the ingredients. And now, it's time, no, now it's time for the ingredients. So we're going to need two one fourth cups of flour. We're going to need one uh, half a tablespoon of baking soda. Alright, two sticks of butter, warm temperature. You can't have frozen butter. Because it just won't mix. It'll just be frozen and just lumps of breaks in the ingredients. <laughs> then we're going to need half cup of sugar, one tablespoon of salt, we're going to need one cup of brown sugar, two eggs, and last but not least, the chocolate chips. So now I just introduce you to all the materials and ingredients. And now I'm going to show you how to properly combine the ingredients. Now when combining ingredients, it's a two-step process. You have, your, you have your dried and you have your wet ingredients. But before we do this, we've got to set the oven, which is right here, 350 degrees preheat. All right, you guys got that? Yeah. All right, good. Making sure you guys are awake. Now, we're going to make the dry ingredients. So the dry ingredients, we're going to need our small bowl. So a small bowl here, we're going to have our 2 one fourth cups of flour. Measuring cup, flour, it's in there. All right. <laughs> now we're going to need our half teaspoon of baking soda. Measure that out, not with this, but with your measuring spoon. Scoop, looks good, throw it in there. We're going to need a whisk. Whisk is important. Whisk it all together. All right, it's looking good, it's combined. We're going to set this aside. All right, it's aside. Now it's time for the wet ingredients, because remember there's two steps. Well, it's four, so two steps. <laughs> all right, the first step in the wet ingredients is you're going to need your butter, which is... There you go, I heard you, stay away. All right, it's in there. Now we're going to need our one four, or a half cup of sugar. Measuring cup, it's in there, look good, we're going to put it in there. Take our whisk. This is the important part, you've got to make sure it's together, alright? So we're going to whisk this. You want to whisk till it's fluffy. Now most people would use an electric whisker, but I, I like getting physical with my cookies, and I like getting in there. You've got to whisk it together. It's looking good, it's coming together. One tablespoon of salt. Put our salt in there after we measure it, of course. Then we're going to need our one cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar's in there. We're going to do two tablespoons of vanilla, okay? Vanilla, guabango. <laughs> two eggs, all right? got to crack them. Make sure there's no shells, because when you're eating cookies and you get a shell, it's just not that good. You know what I mean? Yeah, who wants that? Eggs are in there. <laughs> now, we're going to stir it all together. We're getting doughy with it, right? You feel it? You getting doughy? You're getting doughy. All right. We got the dough. The dough's looking good. Chocolate chips. You want to make sure to put your chocolate chips in the center of the dough, right? So if you picture a circle, draw a line through it, that's where I want the chocolate chips. So we're going to put the chocolate chips right there. Big spoon, not the small spoon, but big one. We're going to kind of work it in there, you know? 
work the shoulder, you know, it's working the upper part of the shoulder, and you're feeling, you're feeling the burn, you like it, all right? It's all, it's all dispersed through the dough right now, all right? It's looking good. Now, I just showed you, but now, that was the wet, now we got to add the dry. Put the dry in. <laughs> Stir it all together. Now it's doughy. Now it's doughy. So now we're set. So I just showed you how to properly combine the wet and the dry ingredients. And now it's time to bake and serve your cookies. So for this step, we're going to need our cookie tray. Right? This is the head of the tray. This is a toe. Take your spray, non-stick. Spray the head, baby. Work the body, get the toe. All right? It has to be fully covered in pan. We're set. And the oven is preheating at this time. We're going to take a spoon, scoop some dough up, right? Has to be looking good. You want to sort of round it into a ball, you know, like a snowball. It's up with dough, right? It's good. You want to put it, the dough, left hand side of the tray, okay? Then we're going to take our four fingers, space it out. You want 12 cookies on the sheet, four fingers spread apart. So they don't all combine. That's not cool. All right, so that's looking good. Now, we're going to take our tray. We're going to put it into the oven, which was preheating at 350 degrees. All right, now, it's going to take about 8 to 12 minutes to properly cook the cookies. Well, if you're like me, I like them gooey and runny and just all over delicious. I take them out at 8. So at this time, you're waiting, you're doing, probably looking on Instagram, Facebook, telling everybody, bam, I'm making cookies, Jack. Got some come over? <laughs> all right, you got it. You got it. Smell good? Look at that. Don't eat them in, you might burn yourself. They're a little hot. 350 degrees, you can't just eat it right away. So we're going to have them cool for about five minutes, you know, kind of chill. And after five minutes, they should be done. Now get your tray. This is a very expensive plate. Be careful. Put it there. They're good, now you just want to take them off, set them on the paper plate, or plate, whichever you desire, right there. One on top. That's how you make chocolate chip So today, I probably showed you the materials and ingredients. <laughs> materials and ingredients, how to uh, combine the ingredients, and lastly, how to bake and serve your chocolate chip cookies. Thank you all for coming to Christian's Cookie Show, and hopefully, with these easy steps, you guys will be able to make chocolate chip cookies for any occasion. <laughs>